People Day 2024. Now, the news with Gary Lipitor and meteorologist Eric Gage. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us here on this Monday morning. I'm Gary Lipitor. And I'm Storm Tracker, too, meteorologist Eric Gage. And get ready. It's chilly out there this morning. Yes, bundle up. It's <laughs> definitely a cool one. Temperatures starting out in the low 40s, and that's really about as warm as we're going to get today. Wow. Yeah, staying in this same type of weather pattern right now, at least for the near term. Uh, let's take a look at what's going on outside early this morning. Again, it's 44 in Rome, 43 Hamilton. And you'll see those temperatures remain relatively the same between now and the end of the day as a cold front moves through our area. And along with that cold front, we are seeing some rain showers ahead of it. But the thing is, is that we've got a cold pool directly over central New York. And once this cold front sweeps eastward, we could see some snow mixing in the highest elevations. And not, I wouldn't say enough to produce any accumulation on roadways. There's still too much uh, roadways are a bit damp at this point. But there could be even some light dustings of snow up in the, again, highest elevations north of Boonville, north of Old Forge, up in the uh, highest peaks. Uh, but again, the next 12 hours, as you can see here, temperatures not warming up. Highs cooling throughout the day from the mid 40s to the low 40s with uh, scattered showers. Those rain chances gradually taper off. They'll be dealing with a few lake effect on and off showers over the next few days and potentially again, yes, even some snowflakes in the highest elevations. We'll talk about that plus how it trends heading up into the end of the work week straight ahead. Gary. Eric, thanks. And what may be a major turning point. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Good morning. Happy Monday, everyone. And those of you that work uh, today, we'll take a look at what you can expect when you head out the door early this morning. And to start, up in Old Forge, it's 39 cool degrees with a few scattered showers rolling back in again. It was a rainy one yesterday, and we'll at least start out the day rainy once more. Uh, downtown Utica, a little warmer, 43 degrees right now, and still even some damp roads and scattered showers. Cooperstown, rainy, same temperature as well, and fog developing in parts of Oneonta, sitting at 41 degrees. Uh, so far, we're not expecting any frost today. There will be some frost potential, though, as we head into the second half of the work week. Uh, traffic flow and Overall, any instance, nothing taking place right now here uh, locally, uh, aside from some planned road work. We can go over that in the next hour or so. But again, today, starting out with a few scattered showers, oh, damp, it's chilly, and it's not really warming up that much today. We'll see additional uh, cool temperatures by this afternoon, cloudy skies, and even some flurries and light snow falling in the highest elevations north of the Mohawk Valley. We'll detail that all coming up in that full forecast. Gary? Eric, thanks. Around 500 runners, walkers, and riggy. And There's spoil your day. Tune in for the Storm Tracker 2 commute cast brought to you by Munson. Visit Munson today and ignite curiosity and creativity. Visiting Munson and the Storm Tracker 2 commute cast, both free and both Utica's very own. Remember, all roads lead to Munson. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good morning, everyone. This Monday is starting out rather unsettled, a little damp and even chilly out. Uh, taking a live look at the radar at this point, we're seeing scattered showers generally north of the Mohawk Valley at this point, but more is on the way to the west. And we'll see this develop as we head throughout the day today. And following this cold front again, there's potential for even uh, chillier temperatures that we're seeing early today. It's still sticking around the mid to low 40s early this morning and will remain in the mid to low 40s throughout much of the afternoon. Normal highs at 61 degrees. So talk about a cooler than average day. This is definitely uh, one that we can uh, take note of. And this will stick around again, the cool weather for the next uh, several days. Now rain showers will be widespread again today, similar to yesterday. At least for the first half, by the evening hours, rain showers will gradually taper off. Scattered lake effect rain Tuesday and Wednesday, and then we do dry out by Thursday. But take a look at this. 
First time we're issuing our four day snowfall outlook. We got isolated snowfall chances Monday for today, including Tuesday and Wednesday. Again, these are for the highest elevations north of the Mohawk Valley, but some parts of the region will be seeing it. So we are uh, definitely issuing uh, that snowfall, uh, snowfall outlook uh, for the next few days. Now, we're still remaining chilly for tomorrow and Wednesday, but watch this. We're back up into the 60s as we head into the weekend on Saturday and Sunday. So bigger picture, I added something else in this graphic here. Took away the clouds, added the temperatures aloft so you can see this cold pool that will influence our weather. We got this low pressure dragging in this cold front, scattered showers right here, and you can see them snow mixing in the highest elevations. Here's that cold pool. It sticks around for Tuesday and into Wednesday, bringing rain showers and a few snowflakes in the highest elevations. But following Wednesday, that cold pool exits, and we'll see warm air move in. And so today on our SkyCast, scattered showers rolling through, snowfall in some parts of the uh, highest elevations up near Old Forge. North of Boonville, I would say maybe the highest hilltops or highest elevations in the Tug Hill area, as well as up north of Speculator in the Adirondacks. Uh, and maybe a few flurries falling in parts of the southern valleys on those hilltops, but uh, I would say isolated if that. Uh, then chilly start uh, Tuesday. A mix of clouds, maybe some sunshine and showers, and maybe a few flurries. So not nearly as unsettled tomorrow as it, as it is for today. Then Wednesday, a few more clouds, scattered showers, a few flurries, and then we do gradually dry out and we cool down Wednesday night. This is our next chance of widespread frost over much of the area heading into early Thursday morning. And so a tale of two different, day, uh, I would say, weather patterns. 40s between today and Wednesday, then we warm up and sunshine moves back in again. That weather pattern favoring warmer temperatures as we look to see a fantastic weekend. We just got to get through this. Uh, few days, Gary. <laughs> yeah, get through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yeah. Then, oof, four nice days. Eric, thanks. Well, it is a sign that the holiday season is quickly approaching. 2024. Now, the news with Gary Libertor and meteorologist Eric Gage. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us here on this Monday morning. I'm Gary Libertor. And I'm Storm Tracker 2, meteorologist Eric Gage. And if you're heading to the bus stop this morning, bundle up. Yes, chilly start today. 40s initially and 40s this afternoon. Oh, my. Yeah, no 60s, and at least temporarily in sight. Uh, let's take a look outside right now. We are tracking, again, a few scattered showers rolling through our area. Uh, from the west, temperature sitting at 44 in Rome and 43 in Hamilton. And uh, we'll see a still cool day today. In fact, it's rainy out there in downtown Utica early this morning. Watch out for ponding on roadways. That was a, uh, a main thing yesterday, especially with that sustained rainfall. And a live look at the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 live radar. For now, again, it's not widespread, but the rainfall is arriving from the west. And you can see it's slightly heavier at times out near Rochester. But let's go up north because, as you can see here, there's some snow mixing in in the highest elevation. So we're expecting this to take place today, uh, north of Old Forge, potentially including Old Forge, and parts of the Tug Hill Plateau. And so the next 12 hours favor scattered to widespread rain showers and temperatures falling into the low 40s this afternoon. So it's a cool one. Bundle up. And we'll still see these cooler temperatures stick around for the next few days, but will there be a warm-up? Will this come to an end? We'll talk about that, of course, straight ahead. Gary? Eric, thanks. If you missed the top of our newscast this morning. Welcome back to Sunrise on this Monday morning as we enter our next week of October. We are taking a look at our October fall photo of the day. And this one takes us to Cooperstown, where I was hoping we'd get another shot at Cooperstown because it's one of my favorite spots to visit in peak fall color season. Look at this photo right here. It's gorgeous. Those red flowers mixed in with the green trees and the vibrant uh, orangish. Uh, leaves out in the distance, giving a, a beautiful fall photo right here. So many photos submitted from Cooperstown, by the way, over, over the weekend. Uh, but this one right here kind of stood out to me. It reminds me of taking walks through uh, Cooperstown uh, in the fall back when I was still uh, 
in uh, Oneonta uh, for college. So this was a great place to visit. But if you want to submit a photo like this one, uh, showcase the fall foliage in your neck of the woods, send it to the link right there on top of your screen, wktv.com slash weather slash pics. You can also find a majority of other weather photos submitted by all of you across central New York. Now today, it's a chilly one. Temperatures starting out in the 40s, and we're really going to be seeing these temperatures all day long. We're not really warming up by much. You walk outside this morning, that temperature you feel today isn't how it's going to feel for most of the afternoon. But on top of these cooler temperatures, there's rain, even some flurries and snow mixing in some spots. We'll talk about where and when straight ahead. Gary? Eric, thanks. Questions this morning about the man arrested for illegally possessing multiple... New York's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good Monday morning, everyone. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Saturday was beautiful. Sunday, more of an indoor day. But regardless, today, similar to what we saw on Sunday with rain showers and cooler temperatures. Live look at downtown Utica right now. It's cloudy, it's damp, it's rainy. Uh, Rain showers have tapered off a little bit early this morning, but we'll see more of it arrive later on. As a matter of fact, we see this lull in the rain here in parts of the Mohawk Valley with some heavier rain showers between Geneva and in Syracuse. Now, bigger picture, we can see that low pressure, that cold front moving through our region later on this morning, as well as some snow falling in those highest elevations. This could uh, creep as far south as Old Forge, parts of Tug Hill, and uh, parts of the Adirondacks as well. So snow showers isolated are still possible today. Uh, throughout the day, again, temperatures will be hovering in the 40s for much of the afternoon, well below average for this time of year. Normal high sitting at 61 degrees. And regarding rainfall, it's going to be widespread today. Most of us will see showers as well as cloudy skies. Tuesday and Wednesday, it'll be scattered, mixed in with clouds and maybe even some peaks of sunshine. So not a complete uh, washout or completely cloudy. But Thursday, we actually dry out entirely. But of course, I can't mention the rain without mentioning the snowfall chances. Even, yes, the highest elevations between now and Wednesday could see a few flurries, maybe some light accumulation uh, on grassy surfaces. Uh, especially up near the Adirondacks. I think it's still too warm in areas south, plus plenty of rainfall on the roadways. They'll be keeping uh, most roadways clear for the next few days. Uh, those temperatures remain relatively cool between today, Tuesday, and Wednesday. But following that, notice this warming trend as we head into the end of the work week. So this cold stretch is a temporary uh, stretch as we head through the middle of October. Now, bigger picture, I removed the clouds in this graphic and added the cold air aloft. You can have an idea of where that cold air is coming from. So here's that low pressure dragging along that rain. And then here comes that cold air. That's going to supply us with rain, supply us with clouds, and even some scattered rain and snow showers. Following that, this cold pool will exit out to the east, and we'll see warmer temperatures begin to arrive from the west. And so on our skycast, rain showers today, snow in the highest elevations possible. Then we dry out this evening and tonight. And then lake effect spotty showers and flurries take place between Tuesday and Wednesday with temperatures hovering in the 40s for all, the, all three of these days. Frost, widespread frost is possible Wednesday night into Thursday with clear skies moving in. Heading into the end of the work week, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday looking overall pretty pleasant. Very nice for uh, October standards. So again, this is only a temporary thing here locally with these scattered rain and snow showers and cooler temperatures going above around a 15 degrees warmer by Friday and Saturday. Gary? Deep into the high school football season and some local before. Now, the news with Gary Libertor and meteorologist Eric Gage. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us here on this Monday morning. I'm Gary Libertor. And I'm Storm Tracker 2, meteorologist Eric Gage. And after a beautiful Saturday, a very rainy Sunday, what are we looking forward here on Monday? Similar to Sunday. Uh, you know, I wish you'd have more of Saturday's <laughs> weather, but, you know, we'll, we'll take the... We'll take the weather that Mother Nature gives us. It's going to be 40 throughout most, much of the afternoon, even including the morning. It's 44 in Rome. Expect that temperature to hover right around that same mark for much of the day today. As a matter of fact, although it's cloudy here locally, it's damp out. 
maybe some light drizzle here and there, but heavier rain will be slowly arriving from the west, especially out in between Geneva and Syracuse, where our next rain band is arriving. As you can see here, it's slowly moving eastward. But on top of that, if you notice, some snow falling in the highest elevations north of central New York, out near St. Lawrence County. Uh, this will likely pull, move into parts of the, most of the Adirondacks and uh, parts of the Tug Hill area. So snow is possible as we enter the next uh, few days. But again, today we primarily isolated north of the Mohawk Valley in the highest elevations only. The rest of Central New York will only see rain. So overall, this is going to be a typical uh, rainy pattern, but what's not typical is the temperatures. 40s for much, much of the day today. We'll still see these cooler temperatures for most of the middle of the work week, but potential warm up as we head into the weekend. We'll talk about that straight ahead. Gary? Eric, thanks. And what may be a major turning point in Israel? Wake up every morning with Gary Liberatore and Eric Gage on News Channel 2 at sunrise. Brought to you by the leader in service, Clinton Tractor. Family owned and operated for over 70 years. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. Welcome back to Sunrise on this Monday morning. The time now is 6.09. And as you head out of the door early today, here's a look at what you can expect. First off, as we take a look outside in Old Forge, it's 39 degrees, a chilly one early today. Uh, roads a little bit damp, some minor ponding on roadways. A reminder with some of the leaves falling to watch out as wet roads covered in leaves can be just as slippery as ice. As you take a look at downtown Utica right now, still roads a bit damp. Rain showers have tapered off a little bit. Temperatures sitting in the low 40s. Cooperstown, 42 uh, with damp conditions. Same thing in Oneonta, sitting at 41 degrees with some areas of fog. And a look at traffic tracker data this morning. Looking, things looking quiet. There's an accident reported heading down I-90 closer to Albany, but here locally things are looking rather quiet. Today, temperatures, again, starting out in the 30s and 40s with scattered showers, even some snow showers in the highest elevations north of the valley. As we head into this afternoon, the rain showers will taper off by this evening, but temperatures remain roughly the same. Highs only in the mid to low 40s. Gary? Thanks. Around 500 runners, walkers, and riggy enthusiasts. Weather spoil your day. Tune in for the Storm Tracker 2 commute cast brought to you by Munson. Visit Munson today and ignite curiosity and creativity. Visiting Munson and the Storm Tracker 2 commute cast, both free and both Utica's very own. Remember, all roads lead to Munson. Better service. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good Monday morning, everyone. Definitely want to bundle up when you head out the door today with temperatures remaining in the 40s, low 40s for much of the uh, daytime hours. Taking a live look at downtown Utica right now, it's a little damp out there. Uh, wet roads, some low lying clouds, even some light drizzle, but the heaviest of rain is still outside our area to the west. Matter of fact, let's take a look at that rain out in western New York, out near Syracuse at this point. Heavier at times, low pressure is moving its way eastward into parts of our local area. But notice up here in the top of your screen, here's some snow showers taking place as expected in the highest of elevations. And we could see it go as far south as the uh, Adirondacks and the Tug Hill Plateau later on this morning in the early part of this afternoon. Temperatures favor it. We've got highs only in the 40s today. And even in the highest elevations, most of the daytime will be spent in the 30s. So it's going to be a cool one. Normal high sits at 61 degrees. So we are definitely entering a cooler than average pattern. Widespread rain today, along with scattered lake effect showers Tuesday and Wednesday. We dry out as we head into Thursday. But on top of those rainfall chances, take a look at this snowfall chances isolated today, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And the best shot for snow will be today in the highest elevation, elevations again. But heading into Tuesday and Wednesday, some scattered lake effect rain showers, maybe a few flurries mixing in, but really that's about it. 
Temperatures remain chilly between today and Wednesday. We rebound back into the 60s by this weekend. So uh, if you're not a fan of this cool weather, don't worry. We'll see a return to warmer temperatures this weekend. We we'll might see maybe one of the last surges of these warmer trends before, of course, the inevitable happens and we'll be entering late fall and potentially early winter. Uh, bigger picture, I added this color scale here. It's between red and blue, and the blue indicates cold air aloft. And I can explain that. Basically, you can see all this cold air aloft is supplying these rain showers with enough cooler air to produce some snow. And you can see here some isolated snow showers in locations that are the coldest. But watch this. As we head into Wednesday into Thursday, that cold pool exits to the east, and we'll see warmer temperatures arrive from the west and no snowfall be expected beyond that heading into Thursday onwards. And so in our skycast, scattered showers today, snowfall in the absolute highest elevations. By this evening, we'll dry out a little bit, skies potentially clearing out, patchy fog early Tuesday, followed by a few scattered leak effect light showers. You can see here it's not widespread and matter of fact, even some sunshine could mix in as well. Same thing for Wednesday, although a little bit more unsettled. The trough moves through, a few flurries and slight drizzly showers. And then Wednesday night into Thursday, that's our next shot for frost. You got temperatures remaining in the 40s and 30s. Uh, matter of fact, low 30s, upper 20s as we head into the uh, overnight hours. As you can see here, 31 to 28 degrees in some parts of a region. And so your seven day forecast, we got 40s the next few days. Frost, widespread possible Wednesday night, and then we'll see warmer temperatures and sunshine move in as we head through Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So we just got to get through this, Gary. A few days of rain and cool weather, and here we are with sunshine. Another nice stretch straight ahead. Of course. Eric, thank you. It is a sign that the holiday season is quickly approaching the iconic ice rink. As we head in the middle of the work week, today is Monday, October 14th, 2024. Now, the news with Gary Libertor and meteorologist Eric Gage. Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this half hour. I'm Gary Libertor. And I'm Storm Tracker 2, meteorologist Eric Gage. And Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, some rain, but a nice long stretch of nice weather is straight ahead. Yes, we just got to get through these few days <laughs> between now and, yes, Wednesday of cool weather, maybe some rain, mm -hmm. some snow oh. in the highest elevations. Yes, we'll take a look at that in a second, but first, Temperatures this morning in the 40s with cloudy skies and rain out to the west, even some light drizzle here locally, but that's really about it. Uh, damp uh, from our camera on a down, uh, in downtown Utica showing, of course, those damp roads and some light mist. And the radar, a lull in most of that rainfall activity in the Mohawk Valley. Rain showers arriving from the west, and on top of that, some snow showers falling in parts of St. Lawrence County, northern Hamilton County, and some spots up in northern Herkimer County. And we'll see that likely develop throughout the day today in those highest of elevations. Take a look at this with these temperatures. We're only in the 40s today, no even hint of 50 degrees. It's going to be a cool one, definitely a bundle up heading out the door early today. Now, Following today, we'll see a few more cooler days ahead before we could see that warm up arrive for the second half of the work. And we'll talk about that. Plus, again, who sees snow in the next few days? Straight ahead. Gary? Eric, thanks. If you missed the top of our newscast, presented by your local Ford stores. For current offers, visit buyfordnow.com. It's easy to stay safe online. The News Channel 2 is brought to you by PJ Green. Welcome back to Sunrise on this Monday morning uh, as we take a look at our photo of the day today. This one takes us to Cooperstown, one of my all-time favorites for viewing the fall foliage. And this is a great shot submitted to us. Look at the vibrant colors of red, still the green bushes in the backdrop, and the very bright orange colors of the tree in the background. Amazing photo here. I've always enjoyed taking walks through Cooperstown in the middle of fall, grabbing a coffee or tea from a local shop there. Just amazing scenery across the board. Uh, it should be around peak colors in, in uh, the Cooperstown area uh, for this week. Now, the start of the week, you know, not too nice in terms of outdoor weather, but the second half, hopefully those leaves, those nice ones stick around just long enough to reach peak colors in that area. So regardless, if you want to submit a photo like that, I just want to just show it right there. 
you can send it to WKTV.com slash weather slash picks. This morning, temperatures starting out in the 40s. This is really about as warm as it's going to get today, believe it or not. We had a cold front rolling through, cooler temperatures, rain, and even some flurries possible. We'll talk about where and when in that full forecast. Gary? Eric, thanks. Questions this morning about the man arrested for illegally possessing multiple guns outside a Trump rally in Southern California over the weekend. NBC's Vaughn Hilliard has more. Another security concern this week's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good Monday morning, everyone. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Saturday was fantastic. Sunday, well, more of an indoor day, but we'll see more of Sunday's weather today. Cooler temperatures with rain showers. Downtown Utica right now, uh, most of the heavy rain is not falling just yet, but it's a light mist, enough to maybe turn on those windshield wipers, maybe have that rain jacket, better yet, just have your jacket in general uh, handy because it's going to be a cool one today uh, with rain showers and temperatures only in the 40s. Uh, here come some of those heavier downpours right through Route 20 north of Hamilton. Uh, as we head into the next few hours, we'll see those rain showers continue to move eastward through central New York. And notice again, snow falling in the highest elevations north of the Mohawk Valley. So enough to maybe not produce any accumulation on roadways. Still, the roads are a bit wet, but maybe some grassy surfaces at the very end of this could see a light dusting of snow way up in the north country. Again, throughout the day today, it's only going to be remaining in the 40s. A cool one, no warm-up expected. In fact, it's a cool-down expected throughout the day today. And notice we are well below average today. High, uh, normal high of 61 degrees. Rainfall is widespread today. A few scattered lake effect showers mixed in with sun and clouds expected for your Tuesday and Wednesday. Then we do dry out as we head into Thursday. But on top of that, here we are with our first four day snowfall outlook of the season. Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, isolated snowfall in the highest elevation. So Mohawk Valley not seeing snow. Besides that, as we head into Thursday, even the highest elevations will be snow free as warmer temperatures move in. As you can see here, 40s the next few days, back into the 50s and 60s by Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So warmer temperatures await us. We've got to get through these next few days of cooler temperatures. Bigger picture, I removed the clouds in this graphic and added cooler temperatures aloft. This is the uh, air near the jet stream, and I'm showing this to give you an idea of how the, cool, the cold pools affect our weather here in central New York. Now notice here this cool, cold pool is moving eastward into our area following these rain showers, watch some more snow mix in with it. Those blue patches and white patches here, that's all light snow mixing in. And there's a few troughs, upper level lows moving through our area, but following Wednesday, this cold pool will exit to our east and warmer temperatures arrive from the west. That will bring an end to snowfall chances heading into the end of the week. So in our skycast quickly, here's some snow showers possible in the absolute highest elevations north. We'll see conditions clear out by tonight. Rain showers coming to an end. Scattered, spotty lake effect rain and flurries expected for Tuesday, ending to parts of Wednesday. Wednesday more cloudy than Tuesday. And then following Wednesday into Wednesday night, we'll see even clouds clear out and temperatures fall down below freezing. Our uh, first widespread frost possible on Wednesday night into Thursday. Following that, take a look at this. We got a few days of rain and snow mixing in, and then here comes the sunshine and plenty of it heading into the work week. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday looking pleasant with highs in the low 60s. Gary? We are deep into the high school football. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good Monday morning, everyone. We are starting out the day today with a few scattered showers in even some snow showers falling in the highest elevations north. Bigger picture, radar and satellite right now showing that rainfall arriving from the west this morning and, of course, keeping things unsettled and cool. And we'll talk about that cold pool influencing our weather here locally coming up in just a minute. Throughout the day today, we started out in the 40s, and we're really sticking into the 40s for much of this morning and even the parts of this afternoon. Uh, we are well below average, by the way. Normal highs sitting at 61 degrees. Wind speeds today looking a little breezy between 10 to 15 miles per hour. Along with that, rainfall chances on and off throughout this afternoon. 
will dry out as we head into this evening and overnight. But still, it's be a cloudy one, a rainy one, and a cool one. So definitely bundle up heading out the door. Regarding rainfall, widespread rain likely today. Same thing, at least rain showers expected Tuesday and Wednesday, but not nearly as widespread. In fact, it's scattered a mix of sun and clouds possible as well as lake effect takes a hold over parts of our area. We do dry out as we head into Thursday, but another thing to mention too, that snowfall outlook, our first four-day snowfall outlook this season, and it calls for isolated snow chances uh, today in the highest elevation. Same thing for Tuesday and Wednesday, although not nearly as likely. No snow is expected Thursday because we'll be seeing warmer temperatures. Just how warm we go from the 40s today, tomorrow, and Wednesday up into the 60s by this coming weekend. So if you are a fan of the warmer weather, don't worry, we got another shot of nicer conditions as we head into the end of the work week. The bigger picture, I substituted clouds on this graphic for cold air aloft, indicated by these colors here. And I think this will give you a good idea of how the snowfall poss possibilities will take shape over the next few days. Starting out, low pressure is dragging in this cool, cold pool of air into pretty much all of central New York. Notice a few isolated locations north seeing some snow showers. Now, look how these spots of white and blue here indicate snowfall potential. And again, the lowest elevations will see rain, but you go to that colder pocket and that rain switches over to snow and flurries. Now, this is only expected between now and Wednesday. Following that, that cold pool exits to the east and we'll see warm weather arrive from the west. And so in our skycast, scattered showers today, snow showers in parts of the highest elevations, and we'll still see that as we head into this evening before things do quiet down. Clouds give way to potentially some clear skies. Temperatures falling near freezing in some parts of the region. 30s to start Tuesday, and clouds mixed in with sun, mixed in with a few flurries and sprinkles for parts of the region. Uh, flurries, again, isolated to the highest of elevations. Then by Tuesday evening, we'll still see that lake effect response linger into Wednesday. More clouds expected Wednesday than Tuesday, and a better shot for a few light showers. But by Wednesday evening, then things will clear out. Sunshine hopefully might move in by the evening, but clear skies move in during the overnight, and our best shot for widespread frost will be Wednesday night into Thursday morning with a lot of locations in the 30s and in the 20s. Cooper's down, you can see here, sitting at 28 degrees. And so your seven-day forecast, a few days of unsettled weather, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, highs in the 40s, and frost potential Wednesday night. Following that, we'll see more sunshine in warmer temperatures as we head into Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, highs in the low 60s. Severe. New York's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good Monday morning, everyone. We are starting out the day today with a few scattered showers and even some snow showers falling in the highest elevations north. Bigger picture radar and satellite right now showing that rainfall arriving from the west this morning and, of course, keeping things unsettled and cool. And we'll talk about that cold pool influencing our weather here locally coming up in just a minute. Throughout the day today, we started out in the 40s, and we're really sticking into the 40s for much of this morning and even in the parts of this afternoon. Uh, we are well below average, by the way. Normal high sitting at 61 degrees. Wind speeds today looking a little breezy between 10 to 15 miles per hour. Along with that, rainfall chances on and off throughout this afternoon. 
will dry out as we head into this evening and overnight. But still to be a cloudy one, a rainy one, and a cool one. So definitely bundle up heading out the door. Regarding rainfall, widespread rain likely today. Same thing, at least rain showers expected Tuesday and Wednesday, but not nearly as widespread. In fact, it's scattered a mix of sun and clouds possible as well as lake effect takes a hole over parts of our area. We do dry out as we head into Thursday, but another thing to mention too, that snowfall outlook, our first four-day snowfall outlook this season, and it calls for isolated snow chances uh, today in the highest elevation. Same thing for Tuesday and Wednesday, although not nearly as likely. No snow is expected Thursday because we'll be seeing warmer temperatures. Just how warm we go from the 40s today, tomorrow, and Wednesday up into the 60s by this coming weekend. So if you are a fan of the warm weather, don't worry. We got another shot of nicer conditions as we head into the end of the work week. The bigger picture, I substituted clouds on this graphic for cold air aloft, indicated by these colors here. And I think this will give you a good idea of how the snowfall poss possibilities will take shape over the next few days. Starting out, low pressure is dragging in this cool, cold pool of air into pretty much all of central New York. Notice a few isolated locations north seeing some snow showers. Now, look how these spots of white and blue here indicate snowfall potential. And again, the lowest elevations will see rain, but you go to that colder pocket and that rain switches over to snow and flurries. Now, this is only expected between now and Wednesday. Following that, that cold pool exits to the east and we'll see warm weather arrive from the west. And so in our skycast, scattered showers today, snow showers in parts of the highest elevations, and we'll still see that as we head into this evening before things do quiet down. Clouds give way to potentially some clear skies. Temperatures falling near freezing in some parts of the region. 30s to start Tuesday, and clouds mixed in with sun, mixed in with a few flurries and sprinkles for parts of the region. Uh, flurries, again, isolated to the highest of elevations. Then by Tuesday evening, we'll still see that lake effect response linger into Wednesday. More clouds expected Wednesday than Tuesday, and a better shot for a few light showers. But by Wednesday evening, then things will clear out. Sunshine hopefully might move in by the evening, but clear skies move in during the overnight, and our best shot for widespread frost will be Wednesday night into Thursday morning with a lot of locations in the 30s and in the 20s. Cooper's down, you can see here, sitting at 28 degrees. And so your seven-day forecast, a few days of unsettled weather, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, highs in the 40s, and frost potential Wednesday night. Following that, we'll see more sunshine in warmer temperatures as we head into Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, highs in the low 60s. York's most dependable weather team. Here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good Monday morning, everyone. We are starting out the day today with a few scattered showers and even some snow showers falling in the highest elevations north. Bigger picture radar and satellite right now showing that rainfall arriving from the west this morning and, of course, keeping things unsettled and cool. We'll talk about that cold pool influencing our weather here locally coming up in just a minute. Throughout the day today, we started out in the 40s, and we're really sticking into the 40s for much of this morning and even the parts of this afternoon. Uh, we are well below average, by the way. Normal high sitting at 61 degrees. Wind speeds today looking a little breezy between 10 to 15 miles per hour. Along with that, rainfall chances on and off throughout this afternoon. 
will dry out as we head into this evening and overnight. But still, it's be a cloudy one, a rainy one, and a cool one. So definitely bundle up heading out the door. Regarding rainfall, widespread rain likely today. Same thing, at least rain showers expected Tuesday and Wednesday, but not nearly as widespread. In fact, it's scattered a mix of sun and clouds possible as well as lake effect takes a hold over parts of our area. We do dry out as we head into Thursday, but another thing to mention too, that snowfall outlook, our first four-day snowfall outlook this season, and it calls for isolated snow chances uh, today in the highest elevation. Same thing for Tuesday and Wednesday, although not nearly as likely. No snow is expected Thursday because we'll be seeing warmer temperatures. Just how warm we go from the 40s today, tomorrow, and Wednesday up into the 60s by this coming weekend. So if you are a fan of the warmer weather, don't worry. We got another shot of nicer conditions as we head into the end of the work week. The bigger picture, I substituted clouds on this graphic for cold air aloft, indicated by these colors here. And I think this will give you a good idea of how the snowfall poss possibilities will take shape over the next few days. Starting out, low pressure is dragging in this cool, cold pool of air into pretty much all of central New York. Notice a few isolated locations north seeing some snow showers. Now, look how these spots of white and blue here indicate snowfall potential. And again, the lowest elevations will see rain, but you go to that colder pocket and that rain switches over to snow and flurries. Now, this is only expected between now and Wednesday. Following that, that cold pool exits to the east and we'll see warm weather arrive from the west. And so in our skycast, scattered showers today, snow showers in parts of the highest elevations, and we'll still see that as we head into this evening before things do quiet down. Clouds give way to potentially some clear skies. Temperatures falling near freezing in some parts of the region. 30s to start Tuesday, and clouds mixed in with sun, mixed in with a few flurries and sprinkles for parts of the region. Uh, flurries, again, isolated to the highest of elevations. Then by Tuesday evening, we'll still see that lake effect response linger into Wednesday. More clouds expected Wednesday than Tuesday, and a better shot for a few light showers. But by Wednesday evening, then things will clear out. Sunshine. Hopefully, might move in by the evening, but clear skies move in during the overnight. And our best shot for widespread frost will be Wednesday night into Thursday morning, with a lot of locations in the 30s and in the 20s. Cooper Sound, you can see here, sitting at 28 degrees. And so, your seven day forecast a few days of unsettled weather Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, highs in the 40s, and frost potential Wednesday night. Following that we'll see more sunshine in warmer temperatures as we head into Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday highs in the low 60s. You're watching TV Plus, your new choice for news and weather, plus a whole lot more. Watch WKTV Plus over the air on WKTV 2.3 and on Spectrum Channel 1246. To get the news you want direct to your phone anytime, anywhere. Download the WKTV News Channel 2 app and know what's happening right here in the Mohawk Valley at all times. It's easy. Just scan the code on your screen with your phone to download. You'll get breaking news alerts. You're going to watch newscasts live. And we have the latest weather. The premier news app of the Mohawk Valley, powered by WKTV News Channel 2. It's free and, of course, it's easy to use. Stay connected and informed all the time with the WKTV News Channel 2 app. Before they go, you need to know, will they need a jacket, an umbrella? What should your kids wear to school tomorrow? 
Get the bus stop forecast only from Storm Tracker 2. Brought to you by Utica National Insurance Group. News with Gary Libertor. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for joining us. I'm Gary. I'm, I'm Gary Libertor, right? Yeah, and I'm Storm Tracker <laughs> 2 meteorologist Derek Gage. And you can hear the rain. There's a little bit of rain coming down. Yeah, rain showers. It's been a pretty damp, gloomy cold day. Yeah, it's what a change, huh? Not warmed up by much at all. <laughs> uh, a matter of fact, it's cold enough to where there's snow falling in some yeah, spots. Yeah, I saw that. Parts of uh, the North Country up near uh, Tupper North Lake North. or Saranac Lake, an inch of snow already. Oh my. Yeah, still accumulating. Let's take a look outside right now. First at the radar, we got some packets of heavier rain mixing in and due to the cold air aloft, some of the locations, including the Mohawk Valley, could actually see some grapple mixed in, which is just some very weak ice that will fall apart when it reaches uh, the ground. Uh, but notice, up north here near Boonville and up near Old Forge, there's some snow being reported on the radar. Now, it's still a thin, warm layer near the surface, but we take a look at Whiteface. Wow. How about that? We've got yeah. snow accumulating on Whiteface, including locations around the Saranac Lake area. As the video you just saw earlier on was from Tommy Horn, and he is uh, uh, just around that Saranac Lake region. So, here in, in downtown Utica, of course, the air is warm enough near the surface. It's not snowing right now, but it's a cold rain. It's a cold afternoon. Temperatures are still in the 40s. The actual warm pocket in, in New York State is down in Poughkeepsie, 57 degrees, but how about 34 in snow when you head up to Saranac Lake? So, quite a difference as you head north and south around upstate New York. But the next 12 hours, really, this is about as warm as it gets. 40s all day long, 30s overnight, even cooler overnights ahead, potential for frost, but that might not be the long-term trend. We'll talk about that in that forecast straight ahead. Gary? Eric, thanks. Now, five days after Hurricane Milton roared onto the west coast of Florida, analysts estimate Hurricane Milton roared onto the west coast of Florida. Analysts estimate that well over $100 billion of damage have been caused. 400,000 people, though, are still without power as others begin steps to rebuild. NBC's Guad Venegas has more this noon from St. Petersburg. The cleanup and recovery continues almost a week after Hurricane Milton slammed Florida. Now, over the weekend, a lot of the focus was placed on getting the power back for a lot of the affected customers and also distributing gasoline. There's been a gas shortage that especially affected the Tampa Bay area. Uh, more than 80% of gas stations were without gas as of Sunday afternoon here in Tampa. Uh, the state has opened up distribution centers where people have been lining up to get 10 free gallons of gasoline. That has helped a lot of the uh, drivers that have been able to get to these distribution centers. Uh, the governor also said that they are helping some of the gas stations get the fuel that they've been needing. But there's also the issue with power. A lot of the pumps need power in order to be able to operate. Uh, as of this morning, the last update indicated that 400,000 customers in Florida remained without power. Now, this is a big improvement compared to the numbers that we saw uh, right after the storm. So we expect more customers to get power uh, as the days go by. And finally, today is the first day when pickup uh, will happen in a lot of the areas that were affected by tornadoes, by the storm surge and the wind. So residents can expect the trash cleanup to begin uh, by a lot of these counties today as the recovery uh, begins and will continue for some time here in Florida. Back to you. NBC's Guad Venegas reporting from St. Petersburg. Here at home, a mobile home fire in Rich Lair. Uh, Join Chief the Meteorologist the Bill Cardis. This on that Storm Tracker 2 Skycast, as you can see. Samantha Wessing. The severe weather all out. Meteorologist all Jill Real. The conditions in place and right now. You can meteorologist see. Eric Gage. To get instant updates on floods, storms, and tornadoes. News Channel 2 Storm Tracker. Tracking storms minute by minute to keep your family safe. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Eric Gage. A chilly Central New York October afternoon across the area today. And uh, on top of that, it's cool enough for some spots to see some snow. Take a look at these photos here. One of these is not like the other, of course, barring uh, one camera. Uh, being down for maintenance. 
In the top right hand of your side of your screen, white face looking at some snow showers this afternoon. Uh, again, some locations up there picking up an inch of snowfall already. Other locations, the surface is just warm enough where we're not seeing any snow uh, accumulating on the ground. Maybe some locations north of Old Forge could be seeing some sleet and some flurries mixed in with the rain showers, but again, it's not accumulating just yet. The radar finally showing signs of dare I say winter. We've got rain showers, even snow mixing in in the highest of elevations. And uh, really the only location seeing any notable accumulation looks to be up near Long Lake, up north of Hamilton County, uh, in just south of uh, St. Lawrence County, more closer to northern New York. Uh, but as you can see here, plenty of cool air in parts of the north country to produce a few snow showers mixing in with rain. This afternoon, temperatures remaining really cool compared to average. Normal high sitting at 61 this time of year, and we're sitting in the 40s right now. And that's really about as warm as we're going to get today. And still widespread rainfall expected today. A few scattered lake effect showers Tuesday and Wednesday. We dry out on Thursday, but here we are with our snowfall forecast. We've got isolated snowfall chances today, tomorrow, and Wednesday. Again, primarily in the higher elevations. This is not going to be a Mohawk Valley type uh, situation, but uh, it's a sign of seasons gradually changing. But the seasons won't be changing for the near term. How about this? By beyond a Wednesday, we're back up into the 60s by this coming weekend. Great weather decides to make its return. I think Mother Nature feels bad for us uh, bringing in all this uh, gloomy weather for today and the next few. So the bigger picture, those of you that missed the morning show today, I changed up this map a little bit. I removed the clouds and I added cold air aloft. And as you can see here, blue indicates cold. The uh, warmer colors indicate warmer temperatures. This is all driven by the jet stream. And notice all this cold air moving into our area. And this allows snowfall development. You need that uh, below freezing air aloft. You need the bright thickness levels in the atmosphere to produce snow showers. And uh, that'll be the case in the highest elevations. The temperatures, again, in the valleys will still be warm enough to prevent that. But following that, we'll see green and eventually more yellows move in as that cold pool exits to our east. But back to the weather today. Again, snow in the highest elevations north. Temperatures still remaining in the 40s. We'll cool down into the 30s tonight. And then after a few clouds, a mix of sun and a few scattered lake effect rain showers tomorrow afternoon. So a bit breezy, a bit cool. Keep that jacket handy for the next few days. 45 the high Tuesday. Same thing on Wednesday. Widespread frost expected Wednesday night into Thursday. Our next chance of seeing that potential. I think this time the clouds will probably clear a lot better as we'll see a lot more sunshine move in by Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday with warmer temperatures as well, going from the 40s to the 60s. I know it seems kind of hard to believe, Gary. I mean, it's out outdoors right now. It's breezy. It's raining. It's snowing out. And <laughs> we're back to late summer, early fall weather by the weekend. Yeah, another nice stretch ahead. Just get through these yes. few days. Eric, thanks. Well, a Georgia sheriff called deputies in for help at a birthday. You want direct to your phone anytime, anywhere. Download the WKTV News Channel 2 app and know what's happening right here in the Mohawk Valley at all times. It's easy. Just scan the code on your screen with your phone to download. You'll get breaking news alerts. You're going to watch newscasts live, and we have the latest weather. The premier news app of the Mohawk Valley, powered by WKTV News Channel 2. It's free, and of course, it's easy to use. Stay connected and informed all the time with the WKTV News Channel 2 app. Here's what you missed on the Talk of the... And welcome back. The Israeli military said that Sunday, a drone strike by Hezbollah on a military base in the north of Israel killed four... Meteorologist Eric Gaze joining us now. And Eric, we are now in a bit of a dreary stretch. Uh, you can hear the rain coming down right now, but... Not as bad as up north with the snow, huh? Yes, yeah, snow is falling up in the north country parts of uh, Whiteface near Saranac Lake. Now reports from our sky watchers in Boonville and an inlet reporting wow. snow uh, falling at this point. Too early. 
It may be, may be too early, but I think for some folks I talked to yesterday, uh, they definitely want some snow. <laughs> they want to go riding on snowmobiles, but for me, I think it'll wait a little bit longer. Take a look at Whiteface early this afternoon. Here we are with some snow on the ground, reports of right around an inch or so of accumulation heading up again near the Saranac Lake area. Uh, here in downtown Utica, though, it's still warm enough. We're not seeing any snow on the ground at this point. And the radar, well, you can kind of have an idea of where the snow is falling based off of that blue line right there. Rain showers south of Boonville. Boonville and areas north starting to see a few flurries falling. And even some highest elevations south of Syracuse. So we've got this weather pattern uh, in place right now. Cold air is moving in from Canada and it's cold enough well up into the atmosphere to supply it. But as you can see here, the main thing, though, are those temperature differences. It's 57 and sunny in Poughkeepsie, 35 and snowing in Saranac Lake, so quite a difference heading up the Hudson Valley into parts of the North Country. But here in lo uh, locally, it's around the 40s with rain showers. And our next 12 hours, well, not too much of a difference. It's raining. Then we'll see rain taper off this evening and tonight. But temperatures will fall back down into the 30s. We've got frost chances ahead, more chances for a mix of rain and snow. But there is some light at the end of the tunnel let you know when that sunshine returns straight ahead. Gary? Eric, thanks. Today, China announced they are launching. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's meteorologist Eric Gage. Good afternoon, everyone. We are tracking rain showers, breezy, cold conditions, as well as some snow falling in some spots uh, across uh, parts of the Adirondacks. Heading up north near Whiteface, as well as some reports of snow, in fact, snow accumulating on the ground at Lake Placid. Uh, as far around, actually not near Tupper Lake, but as you head closer to Saranac Lake, some of those spots over there also reporting some snow on the ground. As much as an inch, but that's really about it. You head south into, say, Inlet. Uh, our sky watcher, Sean, reporting uh, that there's snow falling on the ground, uh, just starting to fall, as well as our sky watcher in Boonville also reporting that as well. But as you can see here, rest of central New York mainly seeing rain. But notice that line of cold air in the highest elevations north. That, that blue is where that snow is falling. Green indicating rain for much of our area. Heavier showers starting to move through the Mohawk Valley beyond St. Johnsville down into the uh, capital region within the span of the next few hours. But again, zooming in, here's that snow falling in parts of the Adirondacks. Could start seeing decent snowfall rates in the Old Forge Route 28 corridor heading up towards Inlet within the span of the next hour or so. Temperatures remaining in the 40s for the, for the remainder of the day today. It's a cool, it's a breezy one. Uh, temperatures well below average. Normal high this time of year sitting at 61. Now we got widespread rainfall today. Scattered showers tomorrow and Wednesday. We do dry out on Thursday, but within these rain showers, there's some snow showers in the highest elevations. Isolated snow today into Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, highest elevations, pretty much that's about it. Uh, Mohawk Valley. Lowest elevations will remain snow free for the near term. Uh, but don't worry, we're back to more late summer, early fall like weather as we head into Saturday and Sunday, back into the 60s with much more uh, comfortable weather. The bigger picture here, though, I added the cold air in the upper atmosphere on this map so you can have an idea of uh, the atmospheric setup that's taking place right now. Low pressure is moving. Uh, eastward along that leading edge of low pressure right here up aloft. And as you can see here, that dark blue supporting snow showers falling in some spots of uh, New York State, primarily in the highest elevations. But watch that cold pool exit out to the east, and we'll see warmer temperatures begin to move in as we head into the weekend. And so quickly on our skycast today, rain showers, snow in the highest elevations. This evening, rain tapers off. We'll see skies probably clear out, maybe even uh, some patchy areas of patchy frost. But the wind speeds might still be a little bit too breezy to support that. We'll keep you posted. Uh, but following that, tomorrow, mix of sun, clouds, rain, and snow. Mixed bag of everything, depending on the temperature and your location. Uh, overall, a pretty uh, busy and cool stretch between today and Wednesday. But a tale of two different weeks. Look at this. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 40s, a mix of showers and uh, snow. But following that, 
We're back to sunshine Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Warmer temperatures, overall pretty beautiful conditions. Gary? Eric, thanks. We are back with News Talk, and today we are joined by meteorologist Bill Cardis. Some showers out there, kind of a gray fall day, if you will. Yeah, it's been a pretty chilly day. Uh, we've had this cold rain in the lower elevations. It has mixed in with snow in the Adirondacks, and there's been a very light accumulation. So the first one of the season in the books for New York State, uh, at least for higher elevations. We do expect to see a couple of uh, snow showers in our area as we head into tonight, but this activity is going to be very, very light. A lot of this doesn't reach the Mohawk Valley. Current temperature 44 degrees, cloudy, it's cold. The weather will stay like this for the next couple of days uh, as this area of low pressure sits over central New York. And again, some lingering snow showers and rain showers will continue into tonight, tomorrow, as well as tomorrow night. But we're expecting a dramatic change in the weather. This is not how things will stay for the rest of October. It looks like it's going to be back to much warmer weather as we look ahead and sunshine. Uh, this evening, again, rain and snow showers, temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s. Again, a chilly one. Uh, we're tracking when these big changes take place, and that's coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. Mercy Flight has six more test flights planned. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. We're tracking chilly weather that is going to stick around for a couple of days. But it's not going to be like this uh, all week. A live look in downtown Utica, temperature 41 degrees. It's been a chilly day. And for some of us, it looked like this. Well, this was in Whiteface. So this is one of the more dramatic photos that we've seen of the day. Uh, Whiteface Mountain, some snow falling. The higher elevations of the Adirondack scene, some snowflakes mixing in. Uh, it's going to continue as we head into tonight. Little accumulation is expected. Uh, some colder weather continues to drain in from the north. This is a live look at the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. And again, most of this falls as rain, but in the higher elevations, this does mix with some snow showers. We're not expecting much of an accumulation tonight. This is not something that will be sticking to the roads or making things slippery. We're not quite that cold yet, and the ground is still relatively warm. But again, temperatures are much colder. Uh, Westernville, 47 degrees. Dodgeville, 42. Little Falls, 43. Cross Southern Valleys. Sherburne, 39. Cooperstown, 39 degrees. And Oneonta with 36. An area of low pressure swinging through today, bringing widespread rain. On the back end of it, it's bringing in that northwest wind. So we're starting to see a response from Lake Ontario, a little bit of lake effect rain showers. That is going to continue here in central New York for the next couple of days. Tonight, mostly cloudy skies, a few sprinkles, a few flurries are possible. Overnight lows in the mid-30s. Tomorrow, another cloudy, cold day with a breeze. Temperatures only climb into the mid-40s. And a few occasional rain showers are expected. Heading into tomorrow night, again, more of the same. Cloudy skies, rain and snow showers, again, very light. Temperatures drop into the mid-30s. On Wednesday, we start out the day with a few sprinkles, and then we do get a chance to dry out. It's still cold Wednesday, but we will see the beginnings of a weather pattern change, which will bring us much warmer weather as we head into the end of the week. Tonight, a passing shower, 35 for the overnight low. Tomorrow, a passing rain or snow shower, another cold day with plenty of clouds, 45 for the high. Storm Tracker 2 seven day forecast. On Thursday, things start to change. A large dome of high pressure moves in, and it's a big one. It's going to bring us lots of sunshine and a remarkable change in the weather. Back to sunshine and the fall that many of us like. Temperatures in the low 60s heading into the weekend. Boy, that'd be better to transition. Just, just it went from warm to cold too quickly. Yeah, we're going to go back the other way. Okay, yeah. sounds good. Thanks, Bill. Well, after dealing with two monster hurricanes in two weeks, some monster hurricanes in two weeks, some residents in Florida are now dealing with an unexpected threat. Guad Venegas explains. In addition to turning roads into rivers, Hurricane Milton has also brought a flood of wild animals into unsuspecting Floridians' backyards. Right there. Oh, my oh that was a big alligator just put our tire. This video, capturing the moment a resident in Fort Myers realized the gator was swimming next to their car and attempting to take a bite out of their tire. 
So it makes sense that with the flooding, a lot of people are seeing these in their homes. Yeah, in their homes, in their pools, backyards, bedrooms, absolutely everywhere. So why do they go into houses? So the water pretty much pushed them, obviously, out of their pond area. They're going with the flow. In the Tampa area, Jen Mezer walked into her garage turned home gym the day after the storm with her five year old on her hip to find an unexpected visitor. Holy moly, we've got a gator in our garage. He made a trip over to the treadmill, got his cardio in for a second, and then he meandered out underneath my truck. Mezer and her husband called 911, but were able to shoo the gator back toward the pond near their house. We directed him, but he wasn't that happy about it. So he did um, take a big chomp out of our broom. It was a wild day. In this video, another family returning to their home north of Tampa was greeted by a gator lounging on their front porch. Experts say residents in flooded areas need to be careful. I would absolutely be concerned on what's out there. I would not go in dark water. I would be extremely cautious. Plus, gators aren't the only creatures out of their element. A lot of the snakes that may be subterranean underground have been flooded out, just like people have been flooded out. Don't surprise them. That's why I tell people to avoid the water when possible. Guadalajara's reporting. Still ahead, three Americans win the Nobel Chief Meteorologist Bill Carnes. We are tracking rain showers in the lower elevations, but it has been snowing along the hilltop locations. And the reason why has to do with a dramatic change in temperatures. We know it gets colder with elevation, but today in particular, that change is more dramatic. And you couple this with precipitation, where that changeover has taken place in areas over 1,700 feet, there's been snow and temperatures have fall into the freezing mark. And in the lower elevations, we expect this cold rain to stay cold rain. But don't be surprised if you live in a higher elevation, if you do see a few snow showers, if you haven't already. The temperature trend, it's warming up. We've got two cold days ahead with temperatures in the 40s before we really turn the corner. And it, it will be a lot warmer here as we head into the weekend. If you do have to take the dog out for a walk this evening, keep the umbrella handy, a couple of sprinkles around. Otherwise, a chilly, breezy evening with temperatures in the low 40s. Tonight's featured dog, Copper from Deerfield. This is brought to you by Nye Automotive Group. We're tracking that big change in the weather. A look at the forecast coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. Property losses are adding up in the wake of Hurricane, adding up in the wake of hurricanes Helene and Milton. Several analysts put the number of insured losses in the tens of billions of dollars, and uninsured losses could tally billions more. As Laura Aguirre explains tonight, Increasingly frequent severe weather events may serve as a policy wake-up call, especially when it comes to flooding coverage. Nobody is immune to flooding in the United States. Nowhere is that more devastatingly apparent than in the southeastern U.S., where a one-two punch by Hurricanes Helene and Milton have left entire regions across six states completely decimated. Unfortunately, most of the losses we are seeing from the tragedy of Hurricane Helene are not insured. Those uninsured Helene related losses could reach $30 billion, according to one assessment by CoreLogic. In the mountains of western North Carolina, where entire towns were washed away by historically high flooding, many residents did not carry flood insurance. If they don't live in a coastal area, they figure they're safe. Mark Friedlander of the Insurance Information Institute says Helene's catastrophic aftermath serves as a reminder for everyone to review their homeowner's policy. No matter where you live in the country, you need to own your risk, meaning you need to understand the potential hazards you might face in your community. Such as regions with higher wildfire risk or frequent tornado activity. But Friedlander also points out your standard property insurance policy does not cover flood. That's why you need to have separate coverage. And that's true nationally. And that's true because if it rains at your home, it could flood at your home. For Consumer Watch, I'm Laura Aguirre. And here's what the team is working on for News Channel 2 at 6. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening, a chilly day today. Temperatures again in the 40s. We've been seeing some snow showers along higher elevations. A live look in Oneonta, a temperature of only 36 degrees. And yes, it was even cold enough for snow in the Adirondacks and the higher elevations surrounding central New York. This picture taken up in Paul Smith's, that's in the heart of the Adirondacks. 
which there was some accumulation uh, there. But uh, as we go forward, the weather patterns are going to change. A couple more days where we have clouds and chilly weather, but uh, looking ahead, it is going to get a lot warmer and a lot sunnier as we head towards the end of the week. Outside uh, this evening, again, some scattered light rain showers. This is mixing in with snow showers in the higher elevations. Sky watchers are checking in with chilling temperatures. Bob and Clinton, 40 degrees. Lyman and Eaton, 40. Cassville, Helen, 37. Eric and Inlet, 36 degrees. Westford, Dave with 38. Stewart and Cooperstown, 37. Low pressure swinging through today. On the back side of this low, we've got winds turning into the northwest, bringing in that cold air from Canada. And this is our, going to be our weather pattern for the short term, with lake effect clouds and a few scattered uh, late rain and snow showers. Tonight, mostly cloudy skies. Overnight lows drop down into the mid-30s. A few sprinkles will be returning as we head into Tuesday, a chilly day. Temperatures only in the mid-40s, mostly cloudy skies. Rain and flurries expected tomorrow night. Overnight lows drop down into the mid-30s. On Wednesday, we start out the day with a few light rain and snow showers, but the weather will dry out. Now looking at mostly cloudy skies on Wednesday with temperatures in the mid-40s. Our best chance of frost is expected to be Wednesday night as skies clear out. A passing shower tonight, a low of 35. Tomorrow, cloudy skies, a rain, a snow shower. Not as... Uh, Steady rain is what we've been seeing today, uh, but still just as cold. Storm Tracker 2, seven day forecast. Cloudy on Wednesday, again, a sprinkle in the morning, 45 for the high. Widespread frost Wednesday night into Thursday as skies clear out. The weather's going to take a remarkable turn beginning Thursday. Mostly sunny, 54 for the high. We're still cold at night, but you can see these temperatures really warm back up. We're into the low 60s on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Mostly sunny skies into the mid-60s as we look ahead to next Monday. We'll be right back. Well, let's look at the forecast at 6. Here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Carnes. A chilly day across central New York, another day in the 40s. A lot of places in the 30s uh, at this hour, especially the higher elevations. We've been seeing rain in the lower spots. Some snow showers have been mixing in in the higher elevations. This is a live look at the Yorkville Battery. Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. Currently 44 degrees at Griffiths and Rome, but again, the outlying spots, the higher elevations are much colder. And this chilly weather is going to continue, at least for the next couple of days. This rain snow mix will be generally light and intermittent throughout the next couple of days. A dramatic change in the weather is expected, though, as we look ahead to the end of the week. In the 30s to low 40s this evening, so a chilly evening, a jacket is a must. Again, some late rain and snow showers. Uh, we'll, we're tracking when this dramatic change in the weather is expected, and that's coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. Mercy Flight has six more test flights planned at Utica's Wind. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. We're tracking chilly weather across central New York. The highest elevations today did see some snow, but it didn't make its way down into the Mohawk Valley. This is a live look in downtown Utica. Temperature 41 degrees, a cold rain for most of the day. But again, it was white on some of the higher elevations. This is White Face Mountain earlier today. Uh, some accumulation on the ground. Uh, but again, it, it's primarily stayed to higher elevations. As the roads get wet, as the leaves come down, just a reminder, the roads are extra slippery when leaves are on them. The stopping distance of a car could take three times longer compared to normal conditions. Uh, again, just something to keep in mind as we head into this time of the year as the leaves start to come down. Live look at the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. Again, a couple of sprinkles out there this evening. The steady rain we saw earlier today is kind of calming down. We're going to see uh, lingering rain and snow showers as we head into tonight. Our sky watchers, Bob and Clinton, 40 degrees, Lyman and Eaton, 40, uh, Forestport, 38, uh, Inlet, Eric, 36, Curtis, 39, Jeff and Mohawk, 40, Skinnevis, uh, 39 degrees, Cooperstown, 37, and Scott in Edmonston with 38 degrees. Low pressure continues to slide to the east, clouds, sprinkles in its wake. That northwest wind will be uh, continuing over the next couple of days, bringing in chilly weather from Canada. Tonight, mostly cloudy skies, sprinkles, 
A couple of flurries in the higher elevations. Overnight lows drop down into the mid-30s. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies, a passing uh, shower here. Temperatures in the mid-40s, mostly cloudy skies tomorrow night. Again, lingering sprinkles and flurries. Uh, Wednesday, things start to change. In the morning, still a few lingering showers, but then by the afternoon, I do think we'll get a chance to dry out. Skies clear out Wednesday night, and that's going to set the stage for a widespread frost. Tonight, a passing shower, a low of 35. Tomorrow, sprinkles, a mix of rain and snow showers, primarily snow showers in the higher elevations, 45 for the high. Storm Tracker 2 seven day forecast. The weather does change. A large dome of high pressure arrives beginning Thursday. A cold start, but we're in the mid 50s in the afternoon, and it looks wonderful. If you like the uh, temperatures in the 60s with sunshine, it's going to be like that as we head into the weekend and early next week. So, a couple of cold days here, but it looks like that warm weather is going to be sticking around once it returns. Is that going to be just in time for like peak leaf in this area? For the lower elevations this weekend. There you go. So you planned it that way, didn't you? All right, thanks, Bill. Still to come on News Channel 2 at 6, the best of. Now, for a first look at the forecast with Chief Meteorologist Bill Cardis. Say it ain't snow, Bill. This was on Whiteface. Okay, well, that makes sense. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah, this was earlier today in the Adirondacks. This is crazy. Yeah, just showing you we were dealing with the cold rain here in the Mohawk Valley, but it was snowing in the higher elevations. As we look at the reasons why, of course, on a day like today, uh, you have a much more dramatic change with temperature versus height. Uh, a lot of places today were in the low 40s to upper 30s, and we saw that steady rainfall. But then you go climb a mountain, white face is over 4,000 feet. Temperatures are below freezing, and that's the kind of setup that we were dealing with today. We'll see that setup tomorrow and Wednesday as well with cold air in place. And again, a few rain and uh, showers for most areas, but again, the higher spots seeing a few snow showers. Relatively quiet out there tonight. A couple of sprinkles, but uh, otherwise just a cold night. A temperature of 39 degrees at Griffiths and Rome. Calm winds and uh, cloudy skies. As we head into tonight, overnight lows will fall into the mid 30s. So good night for the heat. Uh, uh, you'll need it probably by the morning time. Uh, some chilly weather ahead, but the weather does start to turn as we look, we look ahead. A look at the forecast coming up. Jason Mac to you. Bill, thank you. Gun owners in New York State need a score. The Storm Tracker 2 app. Free to install. Use the icons on the bottom to navigate between tabs. Get instant weather updates and alerts right on your phone. Storm Tracker 2, where we track storms. The WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. We are taking a live look in downtown Utica. It's been a cloudy, wet day, and it's been a chilly day. Temperatures sitting at 40 degrees, and we are expecting overnight lows to be in the mid-30s. A good night for the heat. Uh, we're getting into that time of the year where if you don't turn it on now, you probably will be in the next couple of weeks as we get colder weather. Live look at the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar. A couple of sprinkles out there. Uh, really not much activity. That's going to be the name of the game going forward. The roads are wet this evening. The leaves are coming down. And just a reminder, the roads can be very slippery when there's leaves on them. It can take you as much as three times the distance to stop. Uh, with your car if you're traveling 40 miles an hour just due to those wet leaves. So something to keep in mind as we get into the season, as the leaves come down and we get uh, more wet weather, the roads can be very, very slippery in spots. Chilly night tonight, Rome checking in at 39 as well as Hamilton and again some uh, areas of uh, rain and drizzle. So the weather's not going to be great. If you do have to cut the lawn, I know it's still growing, although slower these days compared to a few weeks ago. Next couple of days are not great, but Thursday will be a lot nicer. Our MoCast is brought to you by Clinton Tractor. Big area of low pressure continues to drive our weather. It's moving to the east, and it's bringing in that, that north wind, which is ushering in some chilly weather tonight. And that's going to be the prevailing weather pattern over the next couple of days. Tonight, mostly cloudy skies. Overnight lows drop down into the mid-30s. Tuesday morning, it's a chilly one. We start out in the 30s. We'll make it into the mid-40s in the afternoon. Mostly cloudy. A few rain and snow showers are expected. Snow showers in the higher elevations. 
Tomorrow night, the weather remains mostly cloudy. Overnight lows drop down into the mid-30s. We do this again on Wednesday, although I think Wednesday afternoon is generally dry. Still pretty cloudy, though, with high temperatures in the mid-40s. Tonight, a passing shower is possible, although most of the night looks dry, low of 35. Tomorrow, a passing rain or snow shower, 45 for the high. Storm Tracker 2 seven day forecast. It remains chilly through Wednesday, but then things start to change. Skies clear out Wednesday night. We're expecting a region wide frost, low of 32. Thursday, sunshine 54. A remarkable change in the weather pattern. We're into the 60s. It's warm, it's sunny, and it looks like it's going to stay that way as we head into the weekend. Once you get that frost, does that mean the grass is going to stop growing or you still have to mow the lawn? I don't know the answer to that question. We'll look, we'll, we'll look it up. Okay. Maybe we'll have that answer for you at 11 o'clock. Coming up next, beautifying a Time now for a first look at the forecast with Chief Meteorologist Bill Cardis. Saying it ain't snow, but it is. Not in our area, though. Yeah, this was yeah, in the Adirondacks, uh -huh. White Face Mountain. Some of the higher elevations getting snow. A little more dramatic up here where the elevation is. Uh, I'd say so. <laughs> yeah, over 4,000 feet. So Ooh. we did see some snow accumulation in New York. And uh, we are not expecting much to happen in the lower elevations, and it all has to do with the temperature. On a day like today, there's a very dramatic difference between the lower elevations and the higher elevations. It's normally colder as you're going aloft, but today in particular, we've seen that change being a little bit more dramatic. Uh, the snow line today was about 2,000 feet above sea level, so a lot of mainly the mountainous terrain seen. Uh, snow in the valley locations getting that cold rain. That's going to be the setup here for the next couple of days. If I have a look at the Yorkville Battery Storm Tracker 2 Doppler radar, a couple of sprinkles out there this evening. Otherwise, it's pretty quiet. It's cold. Temperature 38 degrees. Uh, clear skies at Griffiths and Rome. Temperatures are going to stay in the 30s here tonight. Uh, overnight lows in the mid 30s. Good night to turn on the heat. Uh, or at least uh, maybe in the morning. And we're tracking some chilly weather over the next couple of days, but things do turn around. Look at the forecast coming up. Jason, back to you. Bill, thank you. Gun owners in New York State need a scorecard. Just the WKTV Tower Cam is brought to you by the Central Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. From Central New York's most dependable weather team, here's Chief Meteorologist Bill Curtis. Good evening. It is a chilly one tonight. Temperatures have already fallen into the 30s. This is a live look in downtown Utica. Some breaks in the overcast will allow for temperatures to fall into the mid 30s tonight. Some patchy frost is possible where skies remain uh, mostly clear. We're also tracking some lake effect sprinkles and flurries. This is a live look at the Yorkville Battery Stern Tracker 2 Doppler radar. Areas uh, south and west of Utica are continuing to see some light sprinkles here tonight. Just a reminder, as we get into the, the end of fall here, as we progress through the fall season, I should say, as the leaves come down, the roads get wet. It takes a lot longer to stop on wet roads. In fact, do you know it takes almost four to, uh, three times longer to stop compared to dry roads when the, the roads are wet and they have leaves on them? So, again, something to keep in mind as we uh, head throughout fall and the leaves start coming off the trees in a big way over the next couple of weeks. 38 degrees at Griffiths in Rome. Again, some breaks in the overcast. We could see some patchy frost tonight. Uh, but for the most part, temperatures are going to remain chilly here as we head throughout the week. If you do have to cut the lawn, best day is going to be Thursday. Thursday and Friday uh, this week because we do have more rain showers and clouds around for Tuesday and Wednesday. Our MoCast is brought to you by Clinton Tractor. The low pressure continues to slide to the east. And again, we're tracking a few sprinkles in its wake. A northwest wind will continue to bring cold weather into central New York. And again, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies tonight. Overnight lows drop down into the mid 30s. Tomorrow, mostly cloudy skies. A few passing showers are possible. I don't think it's as going, to, going to be as wet as the past two days. Temperatures climb into the mid 40s. Mostly cloudy skies tomorrow night. Again, a couple of lingering sprinkles and flurries. We'll see more of the same early Wednesday, but Wednesday afternoon, things start to change. We'll start to get a chance to dry out, clearing out, heading into Wednesday night. Tonight, a sprinkle, uh, otherwise a chilly night. Low temperatures in the mid-30s. Tomorrow, a passing shower, otherwise mostly cloudy, 45 for the high. Storm Tracker 2, seven-day forecast. Cloudy Wednesday, 45. Cold Wednesday night. Lots of places fall below freezing. 
A region wide frost is expected. Thursday, sunshine 54, a dramatic swing in the temperature and the weather as a big dome of high pressure rolls in, bringing temperatures back into the 60s Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Making for great leaf peeping, great apple picking, all the fun stuff in the fall. Yes, absolutely. All yeah. right, sounds good. Thanks, Bill. Coming up next, beautiful.